This is going to be my third video update for the day. I'm going to make this a super quick video. The first thing I'm going to say is on my second video update, as I was reading the Russian Ministry of Defense statement with regards to the, the claim that the UK was behind the, uh, the Nord Stream pipeline attack, I was reading the statement and I said, Black Sea instead of Baltic Sea. In the morning, there was an attack in the Black Sea. And then in the same statement, the Russian Ministry of Defense said that uh, they believe that the same forces, British forces, that, uh, that were behind the attack in Sevastopol were the same forces that were behind the attack in the Baltic Sea, not the Black Sea. So I mixed those, uh, those two up and uh, that was a mistake, but, but that was a mistake that Liz Truss also made during that interview, I believe, with the BBC, where she mixed up the Baltic and the Black Sea. So um, I am at the same level as Liz Truss. I committed a Liz Truss. I mixed up the Baltic and the Black Sea, though I think my mix-up can be uh, explained a little better. And... Um, Either way, you know, it's not that bad because uh, I guess that means that I too one day can become the prime minister of the UK. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I just wanted to correct that mistake and uh, let's do a super quick update. First, let me just uh, give a quick update as to what's going on in Ukraine. Two quick stories. The Russians are uh, mounting an offensive right now in the Ugledar region. And the Russians have not gone on the attack for a while, but now they are going uh, on the attack. And this is interesting. It means that uh, that confidence is picking up for the, uh, for the Russian forces. And uh, the second thing is that there are rumors, and these are just rumors, that the, uh, the reason, one of the reasons, I mean, there's various reasons, such as weather and, and uh, Russian troop buildups in Kherson, but one of the reasons why the Kherson, the Great Kherson Offensive by Ukraine seems to have stalled and some sources say stopped completely, um, including Baghdad Bob Aristovich, who's concerned about Kherson. In uh, an interview, he said that Kherson is pretty much... Uh, uh, a no-go, it seems. But another reason, and this is just a rumor, that things have uh, stopped in Kherson for Ukraine, and this is really bad for Ukraine, is that uh, the mercenaries that have spearheaded much of Ukraine's uh, offensives, they have decided that they don't want to go into Kherson and uh, get ground down by the Russian military. Perhaps the mercenaries understand that the reinforcements in Kherson mean that uh, if they were to to lead some sort of offensive towards Kherson that they would get uh, chopped down. So the mercenaries have said, nope, we're not going to go into Kherson. We're out of here. And Ukraine is trying to put together some, uh, some more forces, cobble together some reservists so that they can squeeze in some sort of offensive in Kherson that NATO is demanding. So I just wanted to give that quick update as to what's going on on the ground and a quick update with regards to the, uh, the Nord Stream, UK Nord Stream story slash uh, Crimea drone Sevastopol attack. And uh, the Russian Federation, because of the attack in Sevastopol and the claims that uh, the UK was behind the Nord Stream sabotage, the Russian Federation has said that they are uh, pulling out of the grain deal, the, uh, the grain deal that was put together by Turkey and, uh, and the United Nations. They have already notified the United Nations. They have notified Turkey. They are pulling out of the grain deal where they, uh, where they promised to safeguard the, uh, the passage of, uh, of ships carrying grain. And uh, the Russians are out of that deal now. And um, the Russian Ministry of uh, the Foreign Ministry, they have also come out with a statement. Maria Zakharova has come out with a statement 
saying that she is going to take the UK involvement in the Sevastopol attack, as well as the Nord Stream sabotage, that the Russian Federation is going to take that to the UN as well. So Russia's out of the out of the grain deal. They're completely out. And Putin warned a couple of weeks ago. He said, if uh, if these provocations continue, we may pull out of that uh, grain deal. And sure enough, what you had today in uh, Sevastopol was the provocation that has forced Russia to pull out of the grain deal. That Russia says that they just can't guarantee the safe passage of uh, ships through this corridor to uh, to safely get the grain out. Um, and you have the United Nations, which should be getting a call from the Russian foreign ministry with regards to UK's involvement in Nord Stream. The UK, by the way, the uh, Ministry of Defense for the UK, they have, uh, they have completely denied Russia's claims. They, so they said that Russia's claims are, uh, are false, fictitious, and uh, they actually announced that in a tweet. So they put out a tweet and they said everything that Russia is saying is BS. Um, what else do I want to say? So that's some big news. Russia's out of the grain deal. They're going to take the, the Nord Stream attack to the UN. Russia's already notified all the parties. They're out. And, uh, and, the, and the UK Ministry of Defense via tweet, they have denied Russia's claims with regards to the Nord Stream attack. And one final thing to think about, and this is interesting, now that Russia has, uh, has pulled out of the grain deal and uh, they don't have to provide safe passage for uh, ships in the uh, Black Sea, <laughs> the Black Sea, not the Baltic Sea, the Black Sea, now that they don't have to provide safe passage of ships in the Black Sea, I wonder if this is one step closer towards Russia moving in on, uh, on Odessa. Right? This area now, the Black Sea now, is, uh, is not going to be an area which is uh, safeguarded by the United Nations, Turkey, Russia, Ukraine, for uh, grain to pass through. So now I guess that means that Russia may be able to, to use its, uh, its navy to move towards Odessa. Anyway, that's the video, guys, at Duran.locals.com. Look for us on Rockfin. Take care.